Unique Properties of Matrix Operations. Matrices have some special properties that we need to know before we can actually perform any op operations. First, we need to recall that when we're identifying the size or the dimension of a matrix, it is the number of rows by the number of columns. So there are three things that we need to know. How to multiply a matrix by constant, how to add or subtract two matrices, and how to multiply two matrices. So, to multiply a matrix by a constant, the size will be the same as the original matrix. To add or subtract two matrices, the size of the two matrices must be the same. And to multiply two matrices, the number of rows in the first must equal the number of columns in the second. So what this means is if we have our first matrix to be n by m, and our second matrix we're trying to multiply to is m by p, then if the two middle ones are the same, then it works, and your resulting matrix is n by p. So that's how you can actually figure out the size of a matrix when you multiply them together. I'm going to do some examples. I want to identify the size of this matrix. Okay, well this first one is three rows by one column, plus we're adding it to three rows by one column, and then we're going to subtract uh, three rows by one column. So because they are all three rows by one column and we are adding or subtracting, our resulting matrix is going to be a three by one. In this next example, we want to subtract uh, a two by two, subtracting off a two row by three column. So because these are not the same, the result is no solution. We cannot subtract these two matrices. In this next example, we are given a constant multiplied by a matrix, which is going to be the same as the original matrix, which is three rows by two columns. And then we're trying to add that to a constant multiplied by a matrix, which again will result in its original matrix, which is also 3 by 2. So 3 by 2 plus 3 by 2 is going to result in a 3 by 2 matrix because they're both the same and we're trying to add them, so it's going to be 3 by 2. This next example, we have E equals 4863 times 302715. Okay, so this is a 2 by 2, and we are trying to multiply that times a 2 row by 3 column. So if we want to actually identify the size, we look at the two inside ones there, and then they are the same, so our resulting matrix will be whatever is left, which is a 2 by 3. So that is your resulting matrix. This last example, we see f equals 4 times the 4, negative 1, 0, 1, 3, 2, times 1, 0, 1, 2, 4, 8. So we are multiplying a constant by a matrix, so that's going to be the same size that it originally was, which is a 3 row by 2 column and we're trying to multiply that times a three row by two column. So we look at the inside ones and we see that they are not the same. So because they are not the same, then that means that the result is no solution. And that is it. That's what you need to write for your answer. And those are your notes over unique properties of matrix operations. Go through the practice problems. Make sure that you can identify sizes of different uh, matrix operations. And then take your quiz over the material.